Ben Parsley, it is the eve of Jack and the Beanstalk, Isle of Bears and Time. How are things going? Yeah, really well, really well. We did our first uh, dress rehearsal yesterday, uh, where we, uh, so we'd, we'd done a week of tech. So that was like really long days and like having to stop to get things right. And then we did our first run through yesterday and we started at the start and ended at the end, which is always the best way to do it. Um, and we got through it and it was really good. Um, and now it's just, we've come in today uh, and we've all broken off into little sections to run notes and have to make little tweaks just to try and make it perfect for tomorrow evening. And there are a lot of people, so we're in the, in the bar at the players, lots of people milling around. Yeah. Everybody's doing stuff yes. right now, aren't they? You've got, you've got, I mean, in the in the theatre at the moment, you've got sound running sound cues and you know, fine-tuning that and lighting and doing the same. And stage crew are doing for all their jobs, fixing things, making things better, clearing up, tidying up. It's exactly the same for the cast. We're just essentially fine-tuning editing things that you know, we feel like will work better in a different way um, so you're, it, it's ever it's ever changing which is, is part of the challenge and also part of the fun. This may be a stupid question but at this point do you know your lines or do you think you know your lines? I, I, yeah I know I know them as they were yesterday <laughs> um, we've you know for example we've moved a, a small chunk of act one into act two just because of the flow of the show and it just feels nicer so that adds its own complexities because yesterday you learned the show in one order and now you've got to relearn it in slightly different. Um, yeah, I know, I know my lines, I think. <laughs> and, and just tell us a bit about your role with me. Uh, so I am the comic, uh, I'm the son of uh, Dame Trot and brother of the hero Jack. Um, and basically I'm there to make people laugh, hopefully. Uh, yeah. And they, um We'll be there tomorrow to review it, but we take our grandchildren, and I say we as grandparents, so the grandchildren. So it's truly a show for grandparents and grandchildren? It should be something there for everyone. There should be no one, no age group will be left out. Um, as I say, I think Panto is meant to be for everyone. For, the, for children, it's the first thing that they potentially, first uh, introduction into theatre. Uh, and for the old generations, it's you know something they potentially have been used to their whole life. That was the first piece of theatre I ever saw was uh, Panto in, in this building. Uh, my mum was playing Aladdin. So that's important as well. You're, you're Harlow through and through, aren't you? And you have our Harlow acts, uh, actors and actresses all, all on that stage. Yes. Uh, so a lot of, like, so I, yeah, I first, I saw, the first ever Panto I saw here that my mum and dad were in, uh, and my mum and dad met here. Um, and I also met my wife here, and my granddad started youth theatre here. So I, like, I've got a really strong like bond with uh, like Harlow and the, the Harlow Playhouse. And like, uh, as the more involved in the Playhouse I've got, the more we've tried to uh, bring in Harlow people to work and be a part of the show. Because for me, that's very important to keep. That is the core of the building. So, so finally, is today a day like today? Is this one of the most exciting days, or does Maxi one of the most nervous days? Both. There's, it, I can't tell, uh, can't uh, differentiate between the two. I don't know what, what, which of its nerves and which of its excitement. Um, it's exciting because tomorrow is the big day, and today we're just making everything, trying to get it just perfect. So yeah, it's, yeah. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much.